Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm so happy that you're here. Weight loss. Sometimes this goal feels overwhelming. It feels like there's so many things we need to do, and you know, how are we eating, and how are we moving, and what are we doing in terms of stress, and does sleep play a role, and hormones, and all of these things, and sometimes all of that noise can just make it feel overwhelming, which means it paralyzes us into doing nothing or following the latest fad and getting nowhere. So in today's video, I am sharing some simple daily mini habits for weight loss that you can start putting to work today to help you reach your goal of losing weight. These are simple little things that you can start doing today. They're not gonna feel overwhelming, but they could have a big impact when it comes to you reaching your weight loss goals. So I have five of them for you. I've actually saved the best two to the end, so stick with me to the end of the video so you can see all five and you can start putting these to work right away. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this daily mini habit is one that you might have heard before, but I think it's worth repeating because it's simple and it is can be so impactful. And that is to drink more water. Specifically, I like to recommend about two liters of water a day. Now, some people already love drinking water and this is no problem. They maybe drink way more than that. But for most of us, this can be a bit of a challenge and something we have to think about. Now, the reason that drinking water is an important sort of habit to develop if weight loss is your goal is that it plays a role in so many factors in our body and really helps your body sort of find more optimal health, right? Every single system in your body requires water from your digestion to your hormone balance to your mental health to all of that. And so when we're dehydrated, your whole body is sort of struggling a little bit. And that means that processes like weight loss are going to kind of take a back seat. Um, I also just mentioned, you know, hormone balance, and that is a key factor when it comes to weight loss. And because there's so many different hormones that are playing a role in our ability to lose weight and how we metabolize food and how we break down and store fat. And so drinking more water is a great way to begin to help balance some of those hormones that are affecting our ability to, to shed weight. So that's why drinking more water, again, specifically two liters a day, if you can do it, is one of my favorite daily mini habits for weight loss. So one tip that I love is, cause again, sometimes when you're just drinking kind of glasses of water, um, you know, it can be hard to remember like, oh, I should refill it and how many of these have I had and all of that. I know I'm guilty of these and I leave these all over the house, like half glasses of water. So one thing that I love is just to get a nice big water container. Now this doesn't have any actual measurement on it, but I have measured it and it's about a liter. So I know that if I just drink two of these, I'm good. You know, and I can remember to do that. I fill it up in the morning and then I drink it. And then once it's done, I fill it up again and I make sure I finish it before I go to bed. So for me, that really works. And I know for a lot of people have talked about how, you know, just having a big container like that, you can get a whole two liter jug if you want, but this works really well for me. I like having it with me. And also, I don't know why this works, but I'm not the only one who has experienced this, but for some reason having a straw seems to make me drink more water. So when I just have a glass like this at my desk or you know beside me while I'm reading or whatever, I don't tend to drink as much for some reason. It takes me longer to get through this versus a container that has a straw. For some reason, I end up drinking more and I thought it was just me, but I've talked to a lot of people and I'm not the only one. So if you struggle to get enough water in and if, if hitting that two liter a day mark is, has been challenging, I really encourage you to practice this as a daily habit because it really can have a big impact on your ability to lose weight consistently. So think about getting yourself a big container. Think about getting yourself a straw and see if that helps. Okay. So drinking more water. Okay. Another mini habit that I think is critical when it comes to weight loss is planning your food ahead of time. And when I mean planning your food ahead of time, sure, it's great if you can sort of plan a whole week's worth of food ahead of time, including your breakfasts and your lunches and your dinners and snacks. It's great if you have time on the weekend to sit down and map that out, fantastic. But even if you can just plan 24 hours in advance, I like to think of sort of a 24 hour minimum rule when it comes to food planning. What we want to avoid is just making decisions about what we're gonna eat in the moment. Because very often in our crazy busy world these days, we're stressed, we're overwhelmed, we're tired, we're run down. And you and I both know that when we feel that way, we don't make great food choices. So what we wanna avoid is making the decision about what we're gonna eat when we're feeling like that. 
And we can get around this by creating a little mini habit around just planning our food ahead of time. Again, if you can do it a week ahead, that's great. But not everyone is that organized or you know knows what's gonna be happening during their week to be able to do that. But if you can just plan 24 hours in advance. So even if just you make a habit around, you know, every evening you just you know, open up a notebook or take out the notes app on your phone or just grab a piece of paper and write down, okay, what am I gonna have for breakfast tomorrow? What am I gonna have for lunch? What am I gonna have for dinner? What are my go-to snacks gonna be? Am I gonna have something in the evening? And if so, what might be a healthy snack I could have in the evening? That kind of thing, and just jot it down. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't need like a special journal or something. There's no template. It's really just the act of when you're in a better frame of mind, right? When you're not surrounded by temptation or caught up in a craving, but when you are a little more in control, to make your decisions in that mind frame about what you're gonna eat tomorrow at least, right? Again, if you can do this for the whole week, that's great. For some people that works really well, they like to take some time on maybe a Sunday and figure out, you know, look at your calendar, figure out what are the crazy days, what are the days when maybe I have more time to cook, and you can map out what you're gonna eat. That's fantastic, and then just follow that plan. But sometimes that feels overwhelming for people, and so they just end up doing nothing. But I think just thinking about that 24-hour rule and just creating a mini habit around at least just planning what am I gonna eat tomorrow um, can really help you when it comes to weight loss. Because again, when we are making choices in the moment, especially when in the moment tends to be stressed and tired, um, we often make poor choices, which means we eat too much or we eat too much of the wrong things and we're eating our feelings, we're eating for comfort, and that is not a great approach if weight loss is your goal. So that is one of my favorite mini habits that you can do every day to help with weight loss, plan your food ahead of time. Okay, a really great daily mini habit for weight loss is collecting plant points. Now, what are plant points, you might ask? Great question. This is a concept that I absolutely fell in love with when I read the book Fiber Fueled by Dr. Will Bolsowitz. Highly recommend it. In the book, he's really talking about how to maintain optimal gut health in order to help us lose weight and improve our health. And one of the ways he talks about doing that is by increasing your fiber intake and increasing the diversity of the kind of plants that you eat. And when I mean plants, I'm talking about fruits and veggies and whole grains and beans and legumes and nuts and seeds and all of those wonderful things that come from the plant kingdom that we know are full of nutrients and full of fiber. And in the book, he draws a really clear line between weight loss and increased fiber and diversity of plants. So. Obviously he's encouraging us to eat more plants and eat more fiber and eat different kinds of plants every day. And a fun way that he offers to help us do that is by gamifying the whole thing and suggesting that we try to collect plant points. The way the game works is that you get a plant point for every different plant that you eat during the day. So if you have oatmeal in the morning, that's one plant point. Add some walnuts, you get two. Throw in some blueberries, you get three sprinkle on a little flax seed, you get four, you can see how it works, right? And so the goal is to get as many plant points in a day as you can. And I love this system, and it's actually something that we've adopted in my eight week weight loss program, which is called The Best Method. And the members in there love this idea of collecting plant points. It becomes a super fun game. Everybody loves to share how many plant points they're getting each day. And, and just by playing this game and, and trying to increase our plant point score, we find that we're eating more fiber, eating more variety of plants, and losing weight. So I love this also as a daily mini habit. You can just do this, again, even if you're not in my program, even if you haven't read Dr. Bolsowitz's book, you can just think about collecting plant points. You know, Again, if you're having that oatmeal in the morning, what can you add to it to increase your plant point score? If you're having a salad for lunch, what else could you throw in there to increase your plant point score, right? At dinner, what could you, you know, what, what else could you add into that pasta or what else could you put into that stir fry to increase that plant point score? It's just a great way to, you know, increase your fiber, increase the diversity of plants you're getting in your diet, both of which we know help contribute to weight loss. All right? So, wonderful daily mini habit. Collect more plant points. All right, another one of my favorite little daily mini habits for weight loss is finding mindful eating moments. 
Now, if you know me at all, you know that I talk a lot about mindful eating. Um, I teach a lot about mindful eating and I incorporate it into a lot of my programs because anytime you're eating more mindfully, you're gonna make a better choice. And what this could look like for you is just maybe taking a moment, you know, while you're having your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner, or while you're having that apple in the afternoon. And even if you're sitting in front of the TV eating dinner, you can do this. Just stopping for one moment, one bite, and eating it more mindfully. You know, just finding that little mindful eating moment. So kind of tuning out distraction for a moment. Again, even if you're in front of the TV, just get out of autopilot, look down at your food, be present, slow down how you're eating, chew more, notice the food, notice how it tastes, notice how it smells, notice how it feels in your mouth. Tune in to your body and see like, am I still hungry? Do I still want this? Am I satisfied? You can do all of that in a moment, you know, one of these mindful eating moments. And that's why this is one of my favorite little daily mini practices. Mindful eating is such a big game changer when it comes to weight loss, when it comes to changing our relationship with food. It's why it's one of our key pillars in my eight week weight loss program called The Best Method. We have three guiding principles in that program and one of them is eating more mindfully. And again, you can incorporate this as a daily mini habit by just finding these mindful moments throughout the day, okay? So, mindful eating moments. All right, the next daily mini habit for weight loss is to remember your why. Now, one of the things I know people struggle with the most when it comes to sticking with any kind of program to help you lose weight consistently is motivation, right? Feeling motivated to stay on track. We usually, you know, get excited maybe when we start a new program or when we make a new commitment to, to eat in a new way. And that can kind of propel us for a few days, but there's always eventually sort of a slump that happens, right? Where you're just not feeling motivated anymore. You just don't want to do it. It feels like the road is too long. It feels too hard. The, the pull to eat the not so great food and to, you know, fall back into your old habits and patterns just feels so strong. And this is where people really struggle. This is where people really fall off the rails. Yeah. And you've probably experienced this yourself. I know I have. So what is a daily mini habit that we could create that would help foster more motivation for us, help us stay motivated to keep making the healthier choices even when it feels so hard. Well, remembering your why is my favorite for this. And I really think this should be sort of a morning practice. This is a great way to start your morning. This is lovely if you do journaling already, you can do this in your journal, but even if you're not a journaler and you don't sort of have a morning routine or a morning practice, just do this before you get out of bed in the morning or do it while you're doing another habit you have in the morning, like brushing your teeth or making your coffee. You know, habits love to go together. So if you already have, have a habit like brushing your teeth or making coffee or feeding the dogs, attach this to it. And this can just be a couple of seconds for you to just remember your why. Why do you wanna lose the weight, right? Why is this important to you? What would weight loss mean for you? What would that allow you to do in your life that you can't currently do? What kind of person would you be if you reached that goal? And what kind of life would you have? You know, what is your why? Why do you wanna lose weight? Remind yourself of why this is important to you and make this a daily practice make a daily mini habit around remembering your why. Again, do it in your journal if you like that in the morning, if you have a morning practice of some kind already. If not, again, just tack it onto another habit that you already have, brushing your teeth, feeding the dogs, making your coffee. When you do that, use that as a trigger to remind you to remember your why, right? Why, again, you can do this in five seconds. Why do I want to lose the weight? Why is this important to me? Why is this worth it? Why is this worth me doing all this hard work to make the better choices, you know? If we just kind of hope that we will want to stay on track, that doesn't end up working well most of the time, right? We have to go deeper. We have to find that motivation within ourselves and remembering your why is one of the strongest forces to help you do that. Remember why this is important to you and make that a daily practice. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I hope you can see how just creating some Daily mini habits around weight loss can be really impactful. You don't have to change everything all the time. You don't have to be constantly undertaking a whole new diet or making meal plans every day. I know all of that can feel really overwhelming. So I hope these just simple daily mini habits for weight loss are helpful. You don't even have to do all five of them. Maybe just pick one or two that feel 
really useful for you and put them to work and let me know how it goes, okay? Let me know in the comments below which of these were helpful for you, which ones you're gonna try, which ones you're gonna put to work. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified every time I post new videos. We post new videos here every Tuesday to help you reprogram and rewire your relationship with food. And thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you right back here next week.